President Biden has come out of the box with a bunch of executive actions on climate to show how serious he is. But at some point, they're going to need Republican support on legislation. More and more Republicans are coming around on the issue of climate. We're going to talk to the executive director of one of these organizations, Clear Path, that is putting forward innovative ideas and solutions on climate. President Biden has come out very strongly out of the gate, identifying four areas of, of crisis, and climate's one of them. Do you agree with that? So, so I, I spend my life trying to resolve climate change a, as a big global challenge. I worry about the term crisis because I think that it leads us to decision making, kind of really urgent short term decision making. I'm just not sure that crisis frames that, us up into the right way of thinking. Is there it. sort of a doom porn component to, <laughs> to the climate? Certainly there can. Well, well, then, you know, I think the problem you get into is then people tend to shut down, right? So if they hear crisis, well, it's a global crisis. I mean, how could I possibly do anything that would solve a climate crisis? There's just a perception that the Republican Party doesn't care about climate. What do you think about the climate deniers? You know, uh, we've always said you don't have to agree with us on the urgency of climate change to work with us on conservative clean energy solutions. Mm -hmm. um, and that has really opened a lot of doors to a lot of people that you might not have thought would have worked on this kind of stuff. Let's talk about the Biden administration and what they're doing. Agree, disagree, what do you like, what are you concerned about? Well, you know, so far the Biden administration has uh, seemed to start ruling by executive order. And I think that there's a fair amount to be concerned with about that approach. Shutting down the Keystone XL pipeline, for example, I mean, never has so much ink been spilled on something with so little climate impact. You don't think that shutting down Keystone does that much to affect climate? I, I would just generally say that these kind of these pipeline battles and pipeline politics really don't affect the global climate challenge. I mean, the people in those communities say, well, this is a big deal for us because there's spills, what have you. And they say, you know, it's easy for you to say you're in Washington. We're here yeah. living right by the pipeline. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, of course, everything should fully abide by all of our regular environmental laws. So what does what does Joe Biden need to do to get Republican support on climate initiatives? First of all, I think if it's framed as infrastructure, Republicans are ready to support infrastructure all day long. Climate change is, is a major global problem. You don't have to look any further than what's happening in Texas right now, for example, where we've got this really strange extreme right. weather. Yeah. It demands action at every level. But I do think that the commitments that we make have to be really, really thoughtful and have to have a lot more bipartisanship and transparency as we make those commitments. Isn't it hard, though, on something like that to get bipartisan involvement when the partisans are so opposed? Uh, it, it's hard, but it's absolutely worth it. It's fundamental. Is there something you can do in your organization to educate people? The most important thing we do to solve the global climate challenge is decreasing the cost of clean energy technologies so that rapidly developing countries around the world choose them instead of the more higher emitting traditional energy technologies. And that has a lot more to do with innovation and a lot more to do with using our exports. 